हेलो एवरीवन आय निकिता शिंदे अलॉंग विथ माय कोऑर्डिनेटर स्वरूपा चोपडे अँड पारुल शिंदे स्टडिंग इन फायनल इयर बी फार्मसी फ्रॉम शिवाजीराव एस झोंदळे कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी वी हॅव मेड अन एक्सपेरिमेंटल व्हिडिओ अपॉन म्युको अधेसिव्ह पॅचेस ऑफ पॅरासिटामॉल अंडर द गायडन्स ऑफ गीता मोहिरे मॅम आर सब्जेक्ट इन चार्ज अँड गाईड सो लेट्स मूव्ह ऑन टू आर एक्सपेरिमेंट The aim of experiment is to prepare and evaluate mucoadhesive patches. Requirement In requirement section, we require apparatus such as beaker, glass stirring rod, measuring cylinder and spatula. And chemical that we require are paracetamol, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose E50, PEG 400, acetone and dichloromethane. Here are some images of our apparatus. Beaker, glass stirring rod, measuring cylinder and spatula. Principle of experiment is to pur- the purpose of this study was to develop formulation of mucoadhesive patches of paracetamol. The patches were prepared by paracetamol, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose E50, PEG 400, acetone, dichloromethane. The patches were found to be smooth in appearance. uniform in thickness weight uniformity drug content swelling behavior and surface ph batch formulation ingredient that are required are paracetamol hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose peg 400 acetone and dichloromethane quantity of paracetamol is 1 mg per cm and it behaves as analgesic hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is required in 2% quantity and its role is to form film PEG 400 is 1% and its role is plasticizer. Acetone is required in 5 ml and it is system solvent. Dichloromethane is also required in quantity of 5 ml in our, and it also perform the role of system solvent. Hello everyone. My name is Nikita Shinde, student of Shivaji Rao S. Zundare College of Pharmacy. Me and my coordinators are here to perform the experiment of Murkyo Odyssey patches of paracetamol. Now I'm going to show you the chemical involved in this experiment. This is hydroxymethyl cellulose, paracetamol, methyl acetate, polyethyl glycol and dichloromethane. Now we are adding hydroxymethyl cellulose into the acetone along with dichloromethane. we have to stir the mixture until the polymer is properly dissolved we must continue stirring the solution till it reduces to half of its initial then we have to pour the solution into the mold we can use petri dish here and allow it to dry as you could see in the diagram once we pour the solution into the petri dish or mold the solution start evaporating due to its volatile nature and at the end after fully drying we get patches which look something like this we can cut the patch into the desired size or shape and can apply this buckle patches into our mouth we are thankful to dr shivaji rao zondare president of our college geeta khare ma'am secretary and dr nitin mohire principal of our college for encouraging us to make such useful videos if you like the video you can subscribe to our channel for more such content